for, for your for your run rushing offense, just the way they've been playing defense and how good they are on that side of the football? Yeah, I mean, you always want to play against good defenses, um, and there's a lot of them in this league. So uh, we can do it against them. We can do it against anybody. That's the type of mentality you go into games uh, like this uh, with. But you know it's going to be hard, but you know we never back down from a challenge, so we're going to try to get it going. What do you see? Let me ask you this. What do you see about the running game that the dam is about to break, so to speak? About their running game? Yours. Oh, running shit. Game. My fault. Um, we're always, we're always just one, one or two guys away. You know, it sounds so simple, sure. um, but, you know, People know we want to run the ball, so uh, people are going to want to stop that, um, try to make us one-dimensional. Uh, you know, we try to do our best every game not to let that happen, uh, either one way with the passing game or the run game. But, you know, it happens sometimes, so we just got to refocus, come out, and uh, it's another game this week. Gary, you're, you're an accountable guy. How often are you that, that one guy that's away on a plane? Defense? Oh, yeah, I got, I've got mine in there. And the uh, thing about me is I've never been afraid to admit that. Um, I tell them that. I tell you guys that. Uh, I tell my teammates that hey, if I not mess up, especially Arizona, there's three runs I messed up. Uh, last game, there's two I messed up. You know, um, I can't make the perfect read every time, but uh, I try my best. And uh, as long as you're up front about that, uh, it's something that your teammates can trust you on. When you I guess mess up or you mess up, you know, away from being a five or eight yard run, or you think that's like a 20 yard run? Ah uh, well, I won't know because I messed it up. So um, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just no way of telling. You know, somebody may miss a tackle, you know, and it may turn into a big run. Um, that's the sad part about it is, uh, with the run game, you just really never know. Uh, some guys, people just don't tackle. Uh, sometimes people just don't tackle. Um, so when you mess up, you 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 blow that chance, which is the hurtful part. Especially in a game like that, we're already struggling to run. Uh, you really can't afford that mistakes, but. No, happens. Has that been one of the biggest things missing from, from the run is the explosive plays? The big yeah, I mean, we've always, you know, even in the Chiefs game when we did really well, there's no dramatic big, but we're getting them in the passing game. So um, as long as we're getting them from somewhere, um, you know, that's the good part about it. But we definitely would like to rip a couple long ones. But, you know, as long as we're trying to get there and fighting hard, that's all you can ask for. What are those court carries on, like, first and goal, second and goal? Like, Frank Ragno referred up front as it's pure caveman. Yeah, like, it's uh, a... like for you? <laughs> yeah. For me, it's just a lot of big dudes, a lot of people bigger than me going very fast and very angry at each other. Then i am <laughs> got to find the, the smallest crease to try to squeak through. And, um, you know, sometimes you just you pick out somebody that you want to follow. For me, when Nick's there, I usually end up, hey, I'm going to follow Nick. Hopefully he takes me in there. And our last game, you know, he ended up doing that. And uh, that's just kind of something that, you know, it, it gets uh, pretty violent down there. And when so. you carry it like two, three straight times, what's like the third carry? Like a, uh, I better get else? in or I'm never getting the ball again. <laughs> that's, what, that's the way I think. Like, sure. especially the first time uh, you get the ball on third down, you know, they expect you to get in, but they do it on fourth. And, you know, that for me, that's like, hey, either I'm going to get in or I'm going to suck. So on the, on the touchdown, they had, you had one ref signaling touchdown. You had another yeah. signaling that was, it was down that you were short. Yeah. What, I guess what was your perspective when you stood up? Did you see the guy signaling touchdown? Or, no, or I just saw staff was signaling touchdown. So I'm yeah. like, better, yeah. I mean, I was laying down in the end zone. So I'm like, surely I was in the whole time, right? Um, so, and then I didn't even look at it uh, on the video board. Um, so, but yeah, I just saw staff signaling. Staff's pretty smart guy. So. <laughs> What's the mentality you have to have to go over the top on those plays? Uh, it's not something you really want to do because when you leave your feet, you know you have no power. Um, but sometimes that's the uh, that's the that's the only alternative. Like I said, there's a lot of people, um, and usually you know D linemen always want to go low, and it ends up just being bodies on bodies. Now you can't really run through, um, but you never really want to do that. Uh, it's dangerous, uh, you know, as we've always found out, and. Uh, but sometimes it happens. You've had a couple of issues with ball security in the mm -hmm. past couple of games. How do you go about addressing that going forward? Uh, I practice on it. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. all I can do is uh, most of those things are just focus issues. Um, you know, when, when I'm focused, I don't lose the ball. When I lose focus for a second or try to do too much, I let the ball get too low, I do. So, you know, it's just something I focus on and work on. So I guess how, how do you practice something something like that? Specifically? Uh, well, is there a drill that you can do to, to... You carry the ball high and tight the whole practice, which is what we worked on doing today. So shout out to Running Max Coach for making that, you know, emphasis this, this week, um, just trying to eliminate stuff like that from happening. When you look back at the third down, Okay. Mm -hmm. No catch. Did you, did you think you have it? Yeah, I mean, I thought I did. I, I was just switching it to get ready to uh, stiff arm. I ended up 
hitting it off my own self. So, but um, you know, at that point in the game, um, we're trying to get that drive going. We're trying to continue that drive, catch the ball, get tackled. It is what it is. Keep playing. Um, obviously, I wasn't thinking that way. I wanted to make the big play as usual, and uh, just a lapse of focus, and I uh, left it up to the rest, and they ruled against is that it. That one so. of those learning moments for football. It's just the third down. I got to get. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, it definitely is. Yeah. It's, you got to know the situation. Um, just get it. Worry about the rest later. We'll come back and do something else, you know, waste some more time off the clock. Uh, like I said, I wasn't thinking that way, so my fault. Hard to think that way. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, you play, always you know? do, but it'll get you in trouble, as I've uh, learned over and over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gary, and how, how angry was this room after that Green Bay game? I mean, the, I would assume probably the most angry you've ever seen. And how yeah. difficult is it to get over that and kind I mean, of let that go? Yeah, a lot of anger. I mean, but we... I mean, we left so many plays out there. We knew. I mean, we all we've always known we're a good team. Uh, they're a good team too. But I mean, we be, we really beat ourselves. I mean, we really made to left some plays out there, including my drop. You know, that really could have changed the way the game was going. And um, so, you know, we we were angry. But when you look at down at it, we watched plays and film that we didn't make or we made that ended up negatively affecting us and. Angry at ourselves and learn from it. Now we're on to Minnesota and uh, we're trying not to repeat those. Another good team, obviously, this week. I don't mm -hmm. know if Desperate's the right word or whatever, but they're only two in the division. Yeah. What do you sort of expect from, from them? You know, yeah, I, I mean, I doubt, I mean, they know they're on two, but I doubt they're hanging that up on the board. Hey, we got to win. No, they come out here to play because that's just how they play. Um, they could, I firmly believe they could be 0 and 8 in the division, they don't care. Vikings are going to come out here, they're going to play, especially their defense. You know those guys on defense are hard nosed. You know those guys love to work. They love to be physical. They love to play the game. So I don't really think that's in their head too much. I mean, I'm sure they want to win, but they play hard because that's just all they know how to do. What do you remember from the game last year where they had the 10 sacks? Yeah, I remember us getting sacked a lot. Um, <laughs> it, I mean, they, they've got elite players. You know, it happens. Yeah. Games like that happen. Uh, you never want to see it, but it happens. So we're trying, obviously, not let that happen again this year. Um, you know, so it's a, but it's a different year. Uh, we're different. They're different. We just got to put the ball down. No so touchdowns it, against them last mm -hmm. year in either game. Just how difficult of a defense are they to navigate? What do you guys have to do to kind of remedy that? Uh, we're going to have to play tough the whole time. Uh, they don't – balls on the 10, balls on the 30, they're going to they're gonna play. Every single yard is going to be hard to gain. And um, – you know, they, they take a lot of pride in trying to keep offenses out of the end zone. And uh, they've been doing it for however long they've been doing it. So um, it's going to be a tough game. We're going to have to battle. We're going to have to finish drives. Uh, if we don't get big plays like we've been doing, we've got to just grit it out, keep going and keep going and keep going, and eventually get in the end zone. You guys two more. Play a, play a role in, in pass protection. So what's it like when Neil Hunter's coming through and you got to throw your body in front of him? <laughs> uh, it, yeah. It's a, he's a big dude. I mean, he really is. He's a fantastic athlete. Um, I mean, he built. I mean, he's built, and he's what six six, like two sixty, not an ounce of fat on him. So, um, you know. But I mean, I look at my tackles. They got to go against me every single play. So if I can help them on five out of ten plays, you know, try to make their life a little easier. They make my life a whole lot easier. So um, it's just kind of a team effort thing. But yeah, it's kind of hard not to not to see him coming or ever seeing Griffin for that much or anybody coming. And then I want to ask you, too, when do you get hit the hardest? Is it in pass protection? Is it in the goal line? Like when, when do those, you know, those blows? Ooh, that's a good there? question. Um, goal line is probably definitely first. Uh, pass protection is probably definitely second. Um, goal line, for obvious reasons, uh, when you go down is the worst in goal lines. Everybody crumbles on top of you. They don't care. Um, your own people are falling, but pass protection is really, um, especially depending on the type of player you're, you're going against, because um, Cricket's way to the quarterback is a straight line, so they're trying to go right through you and get to staff. So um, those hits, those hits can add <laughs> up. But honestly, they're, they're actually kind of fun, though. Um, it really is kind of an enjoyable thing to do. But I put those two at top. Pass protection fun, you're saying? Take it is. It really is. I mean, it's a game. Um, and like I said, depending on who you're going against, like I'm not pass trading against Daniel Hunter all game long. So my, those are probably the ones. Yeah, that are fun they, in the they, film room, right? Yeah, when so, you really yeah, when you really somebody. stick somebody. Um, but it just really is. It's just you on him. Uh, there's no help. It's just who's gonna win this matchup, and uh, those are pretty fun. So thanks, guys.